one of the 12 dams in the northwest and among 258 in the country, infested with hyacinth. The invasion has not only crippled water activities around the dam, but has also severely affected local property prices. People who have invested here, they've invested a lot because of the view and the environment and the usage of the dam. But when the high sand is uh, fully uh, uh, grown in, in, in the dam, they can't use their uh, uh, boat, which is an uh, investment of two million to go around the, uh, the dam. In monetary value, it reduces the prices of the house and it also uh, make visitors not to have uh, attract, uh, to be attracted again in RTBS. It's not a deep dam, this. It's getting swallower and shallower and shallower every time they uh, spray the hyacinths, they kill it, it goes down to the bottom. So it's becoming a mess. And if we're not going to address that very soon, this dam is going the risk of, 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 of the water won't be used even. As hyacinth continues to spread, some are benefiting from it. We harvest the hyacinth from the, from the water mechanically, process that into organic fertilizer. That has the benefit going forth because no chemicals are being added in the, in the process. Meanwhile, authorities say there's renewed commitment with multiple stakeholders to manage this infestation. At the moment, the Department of uh, Forestry, Fisheries and Environment has been given that responsibility, but there is a process. Remember that we had a very long and, uh, um, you know, very extensive uh, court uh, uh, case that involved the former, the people that used to work there, you know, in the previous times that were hoping that, that were believing that they have the, the, the right to just continue. But uh, the court found differently and agreed with us. It remains to be seen if efforts to contain this invader plant will have a lasting impact. Sintle Inglihihi, SABC News, Hartibia Sport Dam.